Welcome to Goddard State Park, home of Lake Wilhelm. This spot here is one of my favorites to come and sit and smoke and just relax. But today, I have a story I want to share with you. The story I've told to my dad, who's the main part of the story, and a dear friend of ours named John, otherwise known as Mr. Scripto on Instagram. They've both told me they would like for me to record this story and share it with the world, so that's what we're going to do today. I hope you enjoy it. Here we go. Many, many moons ago, there began a tale as old and as funny as time itself. Every parent, young or old, is very much aware of the fabricated stories that they tell their kids when they are young. The Tooth Fairy, the Easter Bunny, Elf on the Shelf are just a few examples. My dad, although he followed suit with every other parent with their traditional legends, also had his own well-crafted tall tales. This, my friends, is the tale of the fancy McDonald's of Warren, Ohio. Right down the road from my dad's old house, there stood a McDonald's restaurant that was unlike any other that my sister or I had ever seen. It was two, maybe three stories tall. It was completely constructed of large skyscraper-like windows from top to bottom. Outside was a well-decorated sitting area with a beautiful white grand piano. From the road, it stands taller than any other building around this intersection. From the perspective of a 10-year-old, this was the most luxurious building that I had ever seen and expected to ever see. Not long after my dad moved into his old residence, he took my sister and I through the drive through of this remarkable chain restaurant building. As we pulled in, my sister and I were in awe of the beauty and elegance of what was before us. As we sat in the busy drive through waiting to place our order, we discussed and romanticized what the inside of the McDonald's might look like. My dad, probably bored out of his mind, decided that he could add a little extra mystique to this already legendary establishment. As they say, nothing is more impressionable or as gullible as a young kid. At the time of this drive through dreamlike experience, my sister and I were probably no older than 10 and 8, me being the elder. In the drive through our father started detailing the interior of this giant building, describing how the windows had to be cleaned by the same professionals that cleaned the big skyscraper windows in New York City, that there was an elevator that went the whole way to the top of the building, where there was a helipad and helicopter used to make deliveries. He explained of a secret basement where the likes of Ronald McDonald and his gang of friends did all their work and shot their commercials. And lastly, his most decorated fib, was that the building had to be kept below 32 degrees Fahrenheit because the staff was completely made up of penguins dressed in fancy tuxedos and would bring you your food once you had ordered and sat down at a table. Abby and I believed every word he told us, and we were in total amazement and wanted nothing more than to go in. Let's fast forward about five years or so. After years of time has passed, Abby and I had still never been inside this McDonald's, when finally... The day had come where we were able to go in and eat. As most parents do, my dad had completely forgotten the story of the fancy McDonald's because for some reason, Abby and I had never brought it back up. As the three of us walked in, Abby and I looked all over. There was a spiral staircase to the likes of those in castles and mansions, an elevator that we watched two staff members walk into and disappeared behind the closing doors. And it was in fact pretty chilly in this building. Abby and I were in total disbelief. Naturally, still fully believing in this tale, we looked all over for the well-dressed penguins hand-delivering the customers' food. After seeing regular people hand out trays of food, we asked our father where the penguins were. He looked at us as if we were on crack. Once we explained to him the story that he had told us several years back, and he realized what we were asking him, he busted out in the deepest belly laugh that I have ever heard even to this day. After Abby and I figured out what was so funny, we also laughed in disappointed fashion. After years of hoping to see penguins, our dreams were shattered within a moment's time. Being inside a stupid McDonald's. To this day, every time I pass by it, I still expect to see those little penguins dressed up carrying a tray of food. That is the story of the fancy McDonald's of Warren, Ohio. I hope you enjoy it. Like and subscribe if you want to see more. Take care. Goodbye.